This is Virginia Tech Women's Basketball on the air and online. Once again, here's Bryant Johnson. Duke, Virginia Tech, Castle Coliseum in Blacksburg, Virginia. Let's hear from the Hokies starting five in their own words. It's the starting lineup for Virginia Tech. Number five, Todd Cole, grad transfer, 5'8", Richmond, Virginia. Number four, Dara Mabry, 5'7", sophomore, Belmar, New Jersey. Number two, Asia Shepard, 5'9", junior, Alexandria, Virginia. Number 21, Lydia Rivers, 6'2", grad transfer from Kinston, North Carolina. Number 33, Elizabeth Kitley, 6'5", freshman, Summerfield, North Carolina. That's a vibe. She want a vibe. That's a vibe. Duke will turn to a familiar starting five. Haley Gorecki, Leona Odom, Kyra Lambert, Anome Akinbadi James, and Jade Williams. Taj Cole takes the ball away from Haley Gorecki, racing to the rim and flipping it home with the right hand. What a start for Taj Cole. Trying her best to get into the paint. That's going to be the success of this Hokie offense, is that if they're able to get the ball in the paint, inside out. Hokies will inbound along the right sideline to Asia Shepard. Right corner pass goes to Cole. She drops it off to the right block. And a power move middle. A left-handed step-through layup by Liz Kitley. Back-to-back -back ACC Freshman of the Week. She makes it 4-2 to Virginia Tech. Time for Baptiste to go to work from the top of the key to the left angle. Step back, 12-footer. Baptiste swishes it. She's clapping as she runs up the floor. It's 11-5 Virginia Tech. They're 10-2 in their last 12. Blue Devils on a six-game winning streak. Right block post up for Kitley. This time she bursts through to the right, steps through the double team, banks it in with the right hand. 13-9 Virginia Tech. It's an air ball into the hands of Taj Cole in Virginia Tech. Cole to King in the left corner. What a find, what a feed, Liz Kitley from her old high school teammate. She flashes, catches, and scores with the left hand. 15 to 11 Hokies. Back to the basket, Kitley. High low lob, Rivers catches, turns, and scores it. Kitley with the assist. Lydia Rivers is 52 and four at home in her career at Radford and Virginia Tech. 17 to 11 Virginia Tech. Well, Lydia does such a great job at sealing. I really like that look. Baptiste, swing to the left wing. Shepard steps back, offers a three, misses it off the right of the rim. It lands in Baptiste's hands. Look what I found, the layup. 23 to 16 Virginia Tech. Trinity Baptiste, five points off the bench. Taj into the paint, bounce to the right corner, snapped around to King, the recipient of a wide open three. She nets it from the left corner. Hokies are up 10. Taj Cole breaks the press, waits for Kitley, slips it to her, and Liz gets the rest. Kitley showing the agility, lays it in with the right hand, five assists for Taj Cole. Taj taking her time, stepping left. High post give to Rivers, lobs it underneath, a seal, a score. Liz Kitley, you are the freshman of the year in the ACC. Kitley pumps, steps through, scores it. This is the most patient team in the paint that we've seen all year, and Rivers and Kitley, they just operate in slow-mo. Very much so, but they're seeing each other so well. I mean, I don't even know if Lydia Rivers, she already has two assists on the night, and they're both to Liz Kitley. Liz is doing a great job at finishing at the basket. Cole locates Baptiste, turnaround jumper is in from the right baseline. Six assists for Cole, 11 points for Trinity Baptiste. Well, and Trinity did such a good job there by looking off where she was trying to go and then just pulling up. Baptiste dribbles twice to the angle, back to Shepard, left wing three, bottoms up Asia Shepard. We're not making crisp and clean passes. Let's make sure we move the ball. Underneath, it's Baptiste bobbling, collecting, scoring, and drawing the foul. The visionary that is Taj Cole. Great read, perfect pass, and one. Trinity Baptiste. Trinity Baptiste, a force to reckon with. I mean, she's just so strong and just uses her body to get in the best position possible to finish around the basket. 47 to 43, Virginia Tech. Duke has outscored VT 18 to 10 in the third. Bring a little momentum into the fourth with a bucket right here. Kitley up top at 10 seconds. Chest pass right arc to Mabry. Steps left at five. Picks up her dribble to Cole for a wide open wing three. She swishes it as time expires. Taj Cole, catch fire and finish with three. There you go, and that's exactly what you need going into the fourth quarter. It was great patience there. Dara Mabry could have forced the shot or forced something that wasn't in the flow, but she made that extra pass to Taj Cole and she knocked it down. Taj Cole one for one from the three, 100%, and she's doing way more than that. She's got eight assists tonight, Bryant.
To the high post, Kitley faces, dribbles twice to the left, double team, excellent pass to the left corner, step back Shepard, three, swish! Kitley on the assist, Asia Shepard, 10 threes in the last two games, 55 to 45 Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech has the ball with a 13 point lead against Duke, five minutes to play. Home finale, chance to get your 21st win. Kitley, deep in the center lane, up and under, lefty leaner, she finishes with the offhand. Five seconds, there's Mabry, straight away three, she makes it, and Dara Mabry, no player in Virginia Tech history, has made 153s faster than the sophomore from Belmar, New Jersey, 63 to 47 Virginia Tech. 70 to 56 win over Duke. The Blacksburg bounce back. Okies come back. They win their 13th home game in 15 games. Six game winning streak over for Duke. We head to the regular season finale with Duke and Virginia Tech tied for third place in the ACC. They never trailed in great effort. You can tell that the coaches made great adjustments with the scouting report and how they were guarding Gorecki and Odom and that this Hokie team, they were locked in. You know, losing to Virginia here at home on senior night in front of their fans was a very tough loss and they had to look at themselves and say how do we really want to finish here at Castle and tonight they made these fans in Blacksburg and Virginia Tech very happy and very pleased with their play and it gives them something to look forward to for next season when those season tickets go on sale.